and here it is. Welcome back to Sensory Maintenance. Today I'm doing a little unboxing video on a new keyboard. Uh, this one's a, a wired keyboard. I actually have, I have a wireless keyboard, but I wanted to I'd research because what I wanted was a keyboard that's backlit. Now, uh, some of the concerns I had was I'm using a KVM switch, uh, which I think I show in another video how you can use the same keyboard, video, and mouse with uh, two computers. So I've got a Mac and a and a regular computer, an old Mac and a regular computer. Uh, but um, so I needed a keyboard that would actually work with both of them. And I was also looking for something that was backlit because sometimes I work late into the night and I don't want to bug anybody else by having the light on. But uh, so I researched and uh, found this computer, which or this uh, keyboard, which seemed pretty cool. And it actually came with a mouse which I don't really need the mouse because I use a Wacom tablet for, for drawing and stuff like that and for art. So um, I won't be needing the mouse, but it did come with it. So there's that. And uh, it's also, this uh, keyboard is USB, a USB connection, which is what I needed to work with the uh, KVM switch. I needed um, it to be UV, USB connected. Uh, whether um, wireless or corded. And uh, nice thing about it being corded, um, you know, I'm using it for a desktop, so really no reason to um, fire up my computer here. Really no reason for it to be wireless because I'm not really moving it around or using it somewhere else. But uh, it's got a little Velcro strap here. So we do that, the computer will fire up, and uh, I'll be unplugging. It looks like that stays, and I can rewrap to make it convenient. So anyway, out with the old. Um, I had a couple little issues with the old keyboard in that every once in a while it would stop typing and I'd have to close the, uh, the uh, internet screen. Kind of a just weird little glitch, and, and also I had to replace the batteries a few times. So I'm actually still getting that little glitch once in a while. I think it has more to do with Windows there 10. There we go, computer's up and running. And now we'll plug in the USB. Now this is, uh, as I was telling you, goes into a KVM switch right here. And here's the little port connection. And this one is for my mouse, the Wacom tablet. So I'm going to take out the wireless connection for that and then move the connection in here. Hopefully I have enough room. Sometimes the speaker bumps around a little bit. It's using the same speaker for both. It likes to do that. <laughs> anyway, there it is. So now we are plugged in. Uh, it's got a dial here. and. I think that, if, oh yeah, that adjusts the color. Nope, that adjusts the, it seems to be uh, messing with the speakers as well. Okay, but uh, that affects the backlighting, so that's pretty cool. And I'm not sure yet how you change colors, but uh, let me bring up a Google screen and we'll take a look and test the, uh, the keyboard and I can kind of look through here and see how we can change colors. I think it has a, a number of different colors but already the, the backlight is pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty good at typing but I could be a little bit better. I was wishing that someone had had made like a, a keyboard that would have braille on it. Um, you know, I, I know that's normally for people that are blind, but I kind of have a suspicion that if you had unique f 
finger uh, sensitivity on the keys, it could really help learning typing. Um, anyway, let me type in Kung Fu Maintenance here. And that's all working good. All right. And so there it is, Kung Fu Maintenance came up. The keyboard uh, um, seem, touch sensitivity seems to be pretty good. It's very easy to to type. It's, it's also very quiet, so that's good. Just kind of wanted to retest it again. Um, the response is good. It's not hesitating or anything. So that's good. Problem is I can spell. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so now I just need to figure out how you go through and change the colors. But again, the dial here adjusts the sensitivity so you can make it a little dimmer, a little brighter, whatever you want to do. Okay, so I figured out a few more things on the computer. The uh, color change is done with this button here. Actually, can go through a few different things, and uh, that was pretty cool. I'll show you with the uh, here. So, and then of course you can dim it so you can, you know, lessen it or make it more. And uh, there's off. But um, then it's got a couple other functions where you hold down the function key and you hold down the deal, and, it, and it's got like a sleep mode where it goes brighter, and you can actually speed it up a little bit. It's not. Uh, you know, you can make it faster, make it slower by function and plus or function and minus. And uh, I'd like it to be able to do that on different colors, but it seems like it really just does that on the red. So far as I've figured it out, maybe there's a little bit more tinkering I can do with it to figure that out. But uh, another thing I discovered that was this search button, which was pretty cool, in that it brings up a search menu. and. Uh, I'll show you here, push it, and it brings up the menu there, so you can search the web and windows. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and the other thing that was weird was the power button. It actually shuts off the whole computer. So kind of cool when you're all finished, rather than having to go through here. You know, with Windows 10, it's a little, little goofy there, a power button, shut down. You can actually, when I'm ready to shut down, just hit the power button. Bam, shutting down. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, as long as you don't hit that button by accident. And uh, anyway, that's uh, the new keyboard here. This is, uh, I gotta reroute the cable and, and hide it a little bit more professionally. I might run it through the back there, and that way it's not really showing. Uh, that's the only little bit of drawback in that this isn't cordless, but uh, in, in a way I kinda like that, that then you don't have a battery dying on you, and uh, um, pretty cool. And uh, I can use the KVM switch to switch to the Mac uh, with that. And <clears throat> anyway, that's the uh, new keyboard. And this is uh, called the Z767 Red Storm Professional Game Backlit Keyboard. I'm not sure the company Enterprise Standard Number. Um, but yeah, pretty cool keyboard. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. Okay, tinkering around a little bit more with the keyboard. What I found is it has these uh, swing out feet here, which is kind of cool. And it positions the keyboard a little bit more, you know, active rather than just sitting flat. Here it is flat. And flipping them up. And you can even adjust them about halfway, put it about halfway so it tilts even more. It's kind of cool for some some things, although it doesn't it doesn't sit all that well that way. It kind of sits better either open or out, but so it can be done. That that's kind of a cool deal. Um, this is fairly comfortable uh, for you know fairly ergonomic thinking about getting some type of a deal like this pad here uh, when you do a lot of stuff on the computer or if you're a gamer if you're g gaming a lot you know something like that can really help cushion here 
um, because you know carpal tunnel syndrome and all that kind of stuff you know, the ergonomics of the thing uh, now I'm going to switch to the Mac here and try out the keyboard here so let's see close this out close that out okay my computer let's see press the key to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard that cannot be identified uh oh <laughs> to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard okay press the key only once press the key to the left of the sh shift key on the right side of the keyboard okay your keyboard has been identified click done to start using your keyboard if this isn't the correct type for your keyboard select the type and click done Okay done. Hopefully that works. I'm going to close out Photoshop here. Let's go to Safari and let's check Google. And yay! Everything works like it should. We're back in business. Alright. And I can switch back to Windows and the same thing. And we already tested that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Come through maintenance. That's the new keyboard here. It is the Z767 Redstorm. Scroll through a few little options here. And here it is. Cool deal. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I pretty much got it oriented and able to hide my cord. So, you know, back to a cord. It's the, you know, small deal, but hey, I got all kinds of cords everywhere anyway. What are you going to do? Well, thanks for watching. Oh, and one other thing I was curious about is switch back to Mac here. If um, the power function would work. Um, for the Mac as well. So here goes the power button here. It actually did not shut off the Mac like it did the Windows machine. That's strange. But hey, it is what it is. Alright. This one I can just shut down the old way. And shut it down. Alright, and switch back to Windows. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. There is a Oh